Hey everybody, uh, it's Saturday afternoon and had another relaxing day at the pool. It's uh, August, no, it's July 31st, Saturday. So middle of the muggy North Carolina summer. So uh, it's time to do a couple things. Um, I'm gonna get ready to plant my second round of potatoes. And this time I'm doing them in containers. As you can see here, I've got the I've got seven gallon containers here. And what's great about those containers is that I went to the local landscaping uh, and bought them for I think a dollar thirteen each. I got uh, let's see about thirty of them. So it's awesome, really good price. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll do the containers. Hopefully I'll have a better result with the potatoes. Um, and also I'm going to harvest some tobacco and I'm going to use as get as close to the old timey way uh, that I can. So uh, in that case, we're going to use our tobacco barn. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I've got some uh, tobacco sticks. Um, in here, and I'm going to navigate through this pile of wood, hopefully, and I don't know if you can see it here, we'll bring it out into the light, but I'm going to get a bundle of these. These are actual tobacco drying sticks, which I'm going to hang trying to steady myself here. I'm gonna hang them up here on those two rails. So that's how I'm gonna dry in our tobacco barn. So go ahead and put these in my carry-on. These are the tobacco sticks. I don't know how many generations, but I got this from a neighbor down the street. But uh, they're hardwood. And who knows how long they've been used. I don't know how old they are. But they had thousands of them, it seemed. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head up there to the pasture, and we'll get to work.
Okay, folks, here's the tobacco field, my little weedy, grassy tobacco field. Um, you can see some of these are doing pretty well. Um, again, this is the Nicotiana rustica. This is these are a lot smaller. They they matured faster, and I got a lot of seeds out of them, but there's not a lot of leaves. But again, those that's filler. So if, even if I get some of those dried leaves, you know that'll be good. And plus they have a lot of nicotine in them. Uh, you can see that the hornworms, I think, got to these. But uh, and then this is a newer one right here. But uh, we have the Havana. The Havana leaves are pretty nice. Um, so I've got younger plants down the, the row there. And I'm just letting some of these flower just to get the seeds. Uh, this is Greenwood Dark here. This is a wrapper. And those leaves are nice too. Let's see, we got some... You know, I'm going to use all of the leaves. Go ahead and do that. Um, and then this is the uh, uh, Mammoth Black. So I'm going to just, you'll see uh, here, we're going to go over to the neighbor who's right beyond that uh, tree line there, right beyond this tree line. Let's take a walk over there and again, <laughs> this is my little hobby tobacco farm. And we will go over next door and you'll see what a real tobacco operation is. Here's that big oak tree that came down. It still put out some leaves. That was from the big ice storm. In fact, how am I going to get through here? There's just too much debris. I'm going to have to make my way through here. There's that big tree. Look at that sucker. Get a lot of good wood out of that eventually. Okay, folks. <laughs> the natural barrier in there. But yeah, this is the neighbor's tobacco field. I think that's burly. And uh, look at that gorgeous leaf compared to my hand. And you can see it just goes on forever. It's beautiful leaves. Big operation here. They're getting some leaf damage on some of these looks like they chopped topped off the uh, tops of them here so that it wouldn't flower yeah it's a clean cut there so yeah beautiful stuff here gorgeous from the uh, next next door neighbor's property this is the property I think that the uh, the dairy farm is so um, just gorgeous just beautiful out here um, all right we'll go back to my little operation and uh, see what we can harvest okay I'm gonna show you my setup here I take a stick and I'm taking this um, Haas tools uh, twine basically I'm tying the end this is what's gonna hang over those supports and I'm basically going to take I got these large needles from Amazon and it's going to basically thread this through like that and then grab some leaves and start and you'll see what I'm doing so I'm going to go ahead with the rust rustica First, I'm 
Now these, these are obviously small, but uh, you know, they're gonna be still smokable because I'll probably end up chopping them up anyway, so. So I'll go ahead down the line and remove the leaves and we'll get back to you. Again, <laughs> these are these are sorry excuse for leaves, but uh, I guess that's part that's either they didn't get enough water or whatever, but I went ahead and pulled up all the rusticas, but what I'm thinking here, so I'll just do that. Try to get it through the stem. And just alternate. So that keeps them away from each other. What I'll also do is label them and and I'll just put that on the end when that's the last thing I do. I did pull off whole plants and I'll probably just hang them this way. Yeah, it's, sometimes it just splits, so I got to be careful. You can see all the seeds. These are all little tobacco seeds everywhere. Got thousands and thousands of them. Lots of little leaves in there too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'm gonna go down the line and find some other varieties. And so then I'll have some tobacco drying. Okay, I went ahead and finished. It's, it's not that pretty, especially with these small leaves and I've got some more small leaves in here. Um, but I think it'll dry nice. That's what it looks like. So again, these are small, small leaves, but uh, the high nicotine content. All right, I'll go ahead and put these. Ready for hanging in the barn. And I'll deal with these two. All right, I'll go ahead and get some more leaves here. I don't want to get the leaves until they're actually yellow like these down here. So actually I'm going to go ahead and get this. This one looks good down here. starting to get yellowed so it looks like each week I'm gonna come out here and do this
and you got a already dried leaf. <laughs> That's nice. That's a little nasty. Okay, folks, um, I've got the Nicotiana strung up. I've got the Havana. We're starting to run out of daylight here, but uh, I want to get this done. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, Greenwood Dark and the Black Mammoth, and then I'll string them up in the barn. So look, it looks looking good. I've got some cast-offs here that I'll probably just shred and smoke just to see what they're like. Uh, but I need to figure out how to ferment them. So if anybody knows good, fast, economical ways to ferment tobacco, um, put them in the comments, please. Thank you. Greenwood.
thing I'm, I've learned is you, you don't want it to get to this point before you clip it off the plant. You, basically, that's probably as far as you want it to go because as you can see, there's no real stem here on this dry one to, uh, you know, there's not much there and it's going to break and stuff. Whereas this is still pliable and it goes right through. So that's one thing I'm learning is that you don't want to wait until you get these leathery ones. But I guess this is all dried out. It's ready to go. It just, you know, I don't need to hang it up. It just needs to be fermented now. So I'm getting a few of those. All right, anyway, I'll continue to <laughs> string this up. But you can see I've got three varieties up. This is the last. This is the mammoth. So I've got some nice leaves out of it. Okay, I've got some remnants here. These are already cured. <laughs> so I've got those. And then <clears throat> I've got the four varieties strung up. It's late and I still have to check tomatoes. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it an evening, put the tractor in the garage. I'll continue this video and show you where I'm uh, hanging the tobacco. So that's the next process. So stay tuned.